Hongzhen is back at Bellwoods in District 25 and this development is situated along Woodlands Avenue 5 and today's unit is a premium 4 plus study at a size of 1345 square feet. Brief facts about Bellwoods, Bellwoods was launched as an EC and recently met its MOP in March 2022 and making it the youngest addition to the resale market. Okay, so three reasons to look at 4 Plus Study right here in this development. So there's only a handful of 4 Plus Study right here in the cluster, Bellwoods being one of them, it's the youngest in the cluster. Number two, there's only four stacks of 4 Plus Study right here in Bellwoods. Ours is the furthest away from the road and facing the greenery. Number three, at the time of filming, there's only 71 transactions in Bellwoods, out of which two is 4 Plus Study, which means 4 Plus Study is actually pretty rare. So we have 561 units in Bellwoods, consisting of 200 units of 4 bedders, spreading across three different types of layout. There are 4 bedroom, 4 bedroom premium with yard and utility, and 4 Plus Study, of which we only have 47 units of it. So the unit is actually very well maintained and the owner has put in a lot of effort to do up the place. Without further ado, let's check out our unit. Right upon entering, you'll be greeted by this spacious living hall come dry kitchen area and all thanks to the warm recess light and cold lighting done throughout the house as well as the furnishes that the owner has chosen, it really helps to create a very welcoming and homey feel. And what really caught my attention is this farmhouse inspired cabinet right here. Fun fact 1, farmhouse theme uh, prioritise practicality, simplicity and rustic charm. While farmhouse style gave the look of rural architecture, it also embraced modern comforts, creating a look that feels both cosy and stylish. And this cabinet actually takes the full length of the wall. It also serves as a TV stand that creates a lot of concealed storage space and display shelvings. And over right here, we do have an open section here for you to place your items that you need to grab before you head out. And originally, this area here was designated for your dining and living area. So if you like, you can actually fit in a 6 to 8 dining table seater right here. But the owner has actually cleverly used the counter right here in the dry kitchen as their dining table instead. And this actually frees up the space here, making this whole area here your living space. So the wall-to-wall -wall distance is about 5 meters and just to show you how spacious this, this living area is, we have cabinets on either side and owner has actually fit in a large couch with a space for your coffee table and also an armchair and you still have comfortable amount of walking space. So let's check the view over at the balcony. So the balcony is really wide and spacious as well. So currently the owner has actually placed a six-seater dining table on the right. So it's good for you to host your friends for an alfresco dining. On the left, there's this cute lounge area where the owner has placed a tea table and decorated with their plants and decorative items. So when you are sitting right here, you will really get a sense of relaxation and serenity. We are facing the spa pool and it's relatively quiet. We have nowhere suns but still have lots of natural lights and breeze. So if you are someone that enjoys sitting up at the balcony, you will definitely appreciate the breeze you get to experience here. Before we head on to the kitchen, let's talk about the facilities. For those who love nature and a great outdoors, you will definitely appreciate the forest team development with six different zones, each a different team inspired by the beauty of nature. Some of the forest inspired features and facilities are the urban forest lawn, bamboo forest house, aquatic forest pool, mangrove and garden trail, mangrove stream and cozy cocoon. Residents here will get to enjoy a wide variety of facilities such as 15 meter lap pool, jacuzzi, barbecue pits, gym, aquatic playground, kids pool, clubhouse and spa house. You can enjoy facilities in this tranquil, well thought out nature inspired development. Something that is so rare and precious in urban Singapore. Back to the dry kitchen and this is one of my favourite right here because we have this full height cabinet here for more storages and owner has actually extended one more door here for your miscellaneous stuff. So this can be your pantry or for your dry goods. What's so great about this built-in oven here is because it's of shoulder height so when you bake you do not need to bend over or simply just take your treats out from the oven and put it on top of this dining top to cool it off. So beside the oven, we do have a space for you to fit in a double door fridge. Fun fact too, having a dry kitchen is a great way to efficiently use your dining and living space. By adding furnishings such as high chair, 
your dry kitchen conveniently double up as a dining table and bar top. So now, let's check the wet kitchen with Stevenson. So moving into the wet kitchen, you can see that this is an enclosed kitchen, so it's good to do heavy cooking. So the glass panel over here allows natural light to come in, creates an openness in the kitchen, but at the same time, you're able to look outside to look after your kids. Having this lighting over here allows the kitchen to be warm. Uh, this is the Edison bulb, which gives you a modern lux feel. So over here, we have the L-shaped countertop. So having this big L-shaped countertop means that you have a lot more space for the meal preparation. The sink is over here, and we have a gas stove, so that you do not have to use and restricted to just uh, stainless steel pots and pans. You can use clay pot as well. So having the backsplash area means there's easy maintenance when you do your heavy cooking. So where the contents area, this is a very well organized shelving, so it's very easy for your meal preparation. In the yard area, you can see this one was supposed to be the washer and dryer area, but the owner has shipped this washer and dryer area all the way to the WC, which is the water closet. So the water closet, your toilet bowl and your sink has been removed, that's why you're able to do this. Right next to it will be the utilities room for your storage area. So Bell is surrounded by a lot of amenities with many coffee shops nearby. For shopping mall entertainment, Causeway Point and Civic Centre are just 2 kilometers away with all kinds of shops and cinemas and even the library that you can enjoy. For transport, there are up to 5 MRT near Bellwoods including Admiralty, Woodlands, Marsling for the North-South Line and Woodlands South and Woodlands North MRT on the Thomson East Coast Line. If you're driving, you have access to Seletar Express via Woodlands Avenue 5 and the upcoming North-South Corridor in 2027 which will shorten travelling time to Central Singapore. For families with kids looking to enrol, we have several schools available within one kilometer ranging from primary to tertiary education. Additionally, there are several developments here that will increase employment and boost the demand for both public and private housing. This includes the Wood Square Integrated Commercial Space just right next to the Woodlands MRT Station. Global Switch, a $205 million facility center, Kofu HQ Food Court, the Woodlands Healthcare Campus estimated to be completed in 2027, the upcoming North-South Corridor which is estimated to be completed in 2027 as well which aims to save up to 30% of travelling time to the city area. On top of that, Woodlands will become the key commercial node of the North and up to 700,000 square metres of land prepared to turn into commercial zones and 100 hectares of land saved for development of new spaces for the business industry, research and development, learn and innovation which will be introduced to Woodlands Regional Centre. So as we move to the rooms, you can see that along the corridor area, there's wallpaper done up to give it a nice aesthetic look. So all the common rooms come from a built-in two-door wardrobe. You can fit a queen-size bed, a single bed with a vanity top, or a study table. So on one side, we need these two common rooms, and these two common rooms is facing the same facing as the living room. So the common bathroom is situated right in the middle of all the rooms, so it's convenient for everyone. So while the highlight of Dell Woods will actually be the cold space living. So what is a cold space living? A cold space living allows you to have flexible configuration in your layout. So this is study room area. So in the study room area, you're able to remove this part of the wall on the right hand side to combine with common room tree, making common room tree a lot bigger. Alternatively, you're able to remove the left side of the wall to combine with the master room to make a bigger walk-in wardrobe. Last but not least, let's take a look at the master room. So the master room is pretty spacious, the owner has placed a king size bed, two bed side table, a vanity top, a TV console with good viewing distance. You have a full height window over here, so you have lots of natural light coming in. But on top of that, you have an extra window on the side of the vanity top, so you can feel natural breeze coming in. So the master bathroom area, before entering, you can see that there's a built-in four-door wardrobe, and the master bathroom is very well kept. So you come to the end of our home tour. If you like what you see, you can make a viewing arrangement with us and we hope to see you soon. Do follow our Facebook, Instagram and TikTok and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. We are Hong Jen. Bring, Bring you dream homes for many generations, generations to come. come.